Hey everybody, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. So here we go. This was an old video, so I do not know what's going on. So I am challenged by this dude named Michael, and right off the bat, I kind of know it's going to be a salt team, but I don't. This is a long time ago, so I have no idea what's going on. So he sends out his hip out on. Uh, I go for stealth rocks. I don't know why, because he can earthquake, but... He doesn't. But he roars. I have no idea why. He sends out my Magnezone. My Magnezone special it has hidden power water. And I knew he was going to probably set up stealth rocks or something. So I go for the hidden power. It's pretty good. And I think it goes in the yellow zone. So it's going to be a two hit KO. The spell is really long. But just kidding. But he's going to get hit. So he goes for the stealth rocks. I think I switch predicting the earthquake. I'm not totally sure. But he chews up on some leftovers. Okay, I, you know, he switches to crit. Oh, I hate this thing. Criddly. Crid. Crid the dill out. This thing is the worst Pokemon in the whole world. I hate it. And I hope it burns in hell. Because I don't have it. So annoying. So it does nothing. Uh, I. He leftovers. And I. Stay in. Or I switch out. I. Go to my. Uh, my king. My. Uh. I don't know. Fly gone. He toxics me. I am. Toxic in the face. Which kind of sucks. So as I'm toxic. Uh. He. Leftovers. And he switches out to something. I do not know. He tran. I was going to earthquake. But I think he was just. I don't know. I was going to earthquake. Which with Kato. But. I dragon claw to be safe because this thing is scarfed. And I'm gonna getting a new video editing system, so my videos are gonna be spectacular. It's gonna be awesome, and you guys are gonna like it. Okay, so I'm poisoned. He withdraws his Heatran and he goes to Skarmory. I'm like, what the heck? Because usually you send Skarmory out first, and he's going to spike, just like all Skarmory's do. I switch out and go to Square. What? So I can handle the spikes. I don't know. What does he do? Spikes? I'm pretty sure. I leftovers because Square is stuck. Okay, he who are munching on our leftovers. Which is the pretty awesome. He withdraws his Skarmory. And he goes to his Cradley. Get hit by... What are those things? And I go for Thunderbolt. And doesn't really do anything. This Cradley is pretty annoying. So I am leftovers and ended up. And okay, I'm gonna do walkthrough. So if any, if anyone has any ideas, send me thing, send me something like you wanna do Pokemon Platinum, one of the new games coming out. I will do black and white. But if anyone wants me to do a walkthrough, just send me a PM. So I go for King because I predict Seed Bomb, and he does Seed Bomb. But I don't know why I send King. I think it like might not be very effective, but it is. So, Sandstorm rages, and I am hurt by a poison. This video battle is going pretty slow. That's why I'm not in a happy mood to record it. So, he sends out his Skarmory. Everybody has full health. And I Earthquake. Awesome. Earthquake, Earthquake. So I'm pretty stuck in Earthquake, so I'm basically forced to switch. 
and that is what I do. Okay, I switched the volume down because I'm tired. Okay, I just kind of want to get through this. So if you do not want to hear me talking, you can just turn the volume down and watch it. So my king dies from poison, FML, and he leftovers. But then I do get a sweep on him, which kind of makes it. So I go to my Goku, and this is where it gets all fun and intense because Goku's the best. I go for predicting him to switch uh, my flare blitz. I go for close combat, which is obviously going to mess this he ran up with his purple eyes, pink eyes, I don't know. So he ran would have died anyway with flare bits, blitz, or without flare blitz. It just... Smoking it up. So my special defense is fallen. So it's 6-5-5, uh, five, five, I think. Pretty sure it's 5-5. Five, five. The sandstorm rages. And I am buffeted by the sandstorm, but that's alright, because I love the way you lie. Whatever. And this guy sends out another, or his Skarmory uh, stones. I go for close com combat. I should have gone for Flare Blitz, but no. But it does a good amount of chunk. More than I thought I was going to do. Because this thing has high defenses. And he braves bur brave bird me to death, and you know what that means. I'm definitely not surviving that, but he is hit with a recoil, or I'm hit with, well, you know what, I don't know what I'm talking about, Miss Skarmory is a pain, and nobody likes Skarmory, so this obviously is going to be in two videos, because no way I'm going to fit this, I go for square, and I think I hydro pump. I'm totally not sure. But he goes back to Cradley. I think he's scouting. I'm not sure. Let's see if I have ice beam on it. I rapid spin all those rocks away, and this helps me a lot. I blew away the spikes. Blew away and blew away stealth rock. So sandstorm rages and. I'm buffeted. I know how sandstorm and hail can hurt you. Like honestly, well sandstorm real life a sandstorm might sting you. But I've been in hail. It's not like it's hailing bowling balls or anything, but usually hail doesn't hurt you. I don't get it. Because hail is just like <laughs> So he switches and then said power on. I did not know why. I think And I surf and this thing dies. That's not a good not, not a good thing. Oh, I think he was predicting my Thunderbolt again. But I don't Thunderbolt. I surf it and it dies. I don't I don't know why they say faint, because... Yeah, if you get hyper-beamed in the face, uh, I don't think you'll faint. Honestly. Or get Thunderbolted or shocked. You're probably not going to faint. You're probably going to die. This was real life. Or if you got burned with Flamethrower, you're definitely not going to survive that. You will be crippled, and you will look old if you get flamethrowered in real life. I don't know how TV shows or Ash gets whatever. So I recover, uh, and I get seed bombed, and I think that was a wasted recover. I just let's see. was it wasted? I don't know. Uh. I don't know if it was wasted. I think I let this thing die to survive. Keep it for later. Oh no. Yeah, I let my thing die. So it was kind of a waste. But anyway, I surf it and take some damage. Sea bombs me and I die. So, 
So, Square is dead. No. And the sandstorm is raging. And that, I think, is bad. Okay. <laughs> I go for my T-Tar, this T-Tar helps me a lot, my t this is my probably one of my favorite T-Tars because this thing is a boss and it kills everything and it makes me win all the time. So I thought Cr Cradle Lee was just a like rock or something, so I, so look at this, that's normal damage, but I'm stuck in Earthquake and I know he's gonna switch out to his Skarmory where I had a feeling so I think I switch out to, or I, I'm not sure. I think I earthquake again and he switches. I'm not sure. Yeah, he withdraws. I thought he was just gonna use it to die, or see if I'm scarfed or not. But see, stealth rocks will wear your team down. So it's always good to have a spinner. My opinion. So. That'd be cool if there was a Pokemon that gain. I don't know if there is a Pokemon, but if it gains health during Sandstorm, that'd be pretty cool. So we're at 11 minutes here. This is where the battle really gets to heat up. So I send out my Magnum Zone. And he roosts. Awesome. That was... In Sandstorm Rages. Uh, let's see. And I have Thunderbolt. And it dies. Yes. I think it dies. I'm pretty sure it dies. Because he doesn't have any uh, ground types, I don't think, anymore. So. Skarmory dies. I'm in the lead 12 minutes. I'll probably stop it at 15 minutes. If it gets there. Oh yeah, he sends out his Rhyperior. This part. Or actually, this... I do win up, end up winning by like, try and talk with my Earthquake on Cradley, but I might just stop it, because it doesn't really... He lives with 1 HP. Doesn't really get anything extremely exciting after this. Oh yeah. Substitute with one HP left. Come on. Because I actually do end up knocking out right period. And I hit a power again. I think he earthquakes. Because I think that was a smart decision just in case you like, I don't know. Anyway, critical hit. Super effective. That's overkill. Earthquakes in. My Magnezone is dead. Electric Steel times four. No way, and you're surviving that. So good night. So I want to walk through, but I want you guys to pick one. That sounds desperate health wise. Ish. Okay, right here, you're 13 minutes left. I don't feel like doing it another two minutes because I'm that lazy. Sandstorm rages. I'm so tired. I've got Christmas coming up. That's pretty fun. 14. So I go for my white eyes and I then headbutt it and it dies. Damn. So I will sum up the battle. What's his next Pokemon? And I'll stop it there, but I win by barely with my uh, T-Tar. But I don't lie when I make videos, so... Oh yeah, he sends out Rodom. It's a double downer. I, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, he Shadow Balls me. I, whatever that move was. And then he dies. We both die because he dies by a Sandstorm, and I picked that from there. So everybody, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I did win, so bye.